There's been a lot of TV shows lately that focus on adventure style four wheel drive camping. And uh, it's all well and good, they all look good. It looks a lot of fun. And uh, we've been doing it for years. So I can tell you, it is a lot of fun. But not everybody can afford to run out and buy a four wheel drive and kit it out with what's necessary to go and do this sort of thing. What's the answer? Well, the answer is you go and hire a four wheel drive. I've done it a couple of times over the years. In fact, we hired a four wheel drive from Australian four wheel drive hire just last month for a Fraser Island ho holiday. And uh, we found them tremendous to deal with. They're terrific people to deal with. So easy going. Right from, uh, from the very first connection with them right through to taking the car back. It's never a problem. Everything is just handled very, very professional. Here we are in this brand new Prado and uh, it's just tremendous to think that you can go and get a car of this calibre and rent it and take it anywhere you want to go almost. How good's that? So you could go and hire one and get a bit of training and go and have a look at some of these tracks, go and have a look at some of these places and uh, it opens up a whole world, believe you me. It's something that uh, owning a four wheel drive has enriched my family's life a thousand times over. It's been fantastic. Pretty scenery here. It's a really nice little spot, this. Really nice. Really good part about having a four-wheel drive and an off-road camper is you can go to these places and get these views. It's just impossible to get in a standard two-wheel drive car. You can get to places that aren't packed out by the masses, and when you, if you do find other people there, they're just like-minded people, exactly the same as you. Oh, sorry, caught me having a look at this book. Uh, it's the HEMA Australia Road and Four Wheel Drive Atlas. Really good book, this one. And not only covers um, uh, the, the uh, major cities of the states and all that sort of thing, but I was just having a look at the Simpson Desert page and uh, I could have done with this. We, we use paper maps a lot. I know you can get um, great apps and GPS stuff and that these days, but you really need to use uh, paper maps and map books as a backup. Use them for your primary source of uh, reference, if you like. And these, this HEMA book's great. And I didn't have to buy it, because it came with the four-wheel drive from Australian four-wheel drive hire. Uh, it came with this book and this great little grab bag. Now, the grab bag, uh, when I hired a four-wheel drive about 10 or 11 years ago, it didn't come with anything. In fact, the four-wheel drive I hired, the speedo didn't work and the windows didn't wind up and the doors didn't lock. But that's a whole other story. Um, this grab bag comes with a light, plugs in the cigarette lighter, set of TJM gloves, a lot of TJM gear in here. Um, uh, a little log splitter type, Tomahawk axe. Uh, that's the winch control. The four drive has a winch on the front. It's fitted with dynamic rope. Brilliant. Good set of jumper leads. Um, 400 amp rated, so you could jump start the car if it's, if it's got a flat battery. Um, a detachable cigarette lighter. It just clips on the battery if you need to charge up your phone or whatever and you can't get to the cigarette lighter in the car. Uh, it's got a snatch strap. So if you re need recovering uh, or you want to recover somebody else, there's a 8,000 kilo rated snatch strap for the, rated for the car. It's got a couple of rated shackles. Rated bow shackles are really important in off-road recovery. There's two of those, fantastic. Um, Bush Ranger folding shovel, dig your fire pit with. Uh, 
a recovery blanket for using on your snatch strap, of course, and a little bush ranger uh, v air compressor for pumping up the tyres. Usually, when you go off road, if you're doing beach or sand, um, beach or desert, you're going to run on deflated tyres, and it always is a good idea to carry a compressor and pump your tyres back up uh, at the end of your, your time on the on the sand. And uh, one of these little guys will do the job just brilliantly. And that all comes included in the basic hire of the four-wheel drive. That kind of value is awesome, I reckon. I give it a big thumbs up. Give the good folk at Australian Four Wheel Drive Hire a call. Tell them what you have in mind and let them help you get into this picture. Yeah.